The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe is a gothic masterpiece that plunges readers into a realm of psychological unease, supernatural mystery, and the macabre. Published in 1839, this short story stands as a testament to Poe's ability to weave intricate narratives that transcend the boundaries of conventional storytelling. The tale is narrated by an unnamed protagonist who receives a letter from Roderick Usher, a childhood friend. The letter conveys a sense of urgency and despair, prompting the narrator to visit the Usher mansion. As the narrator approaches the house, the setting itself becomes a harbinger of the eerie events that will unfold. The House of Usher, a mansion surrounded by a somber tarn and enveloped in an aura of decay, serves as a metaphor for the Usher family's decline. The building's dilapidated state reflects the crumbling fortunes of a once prominent lineage. The vivid and haunting descriptions of the mansion lay the foundation for the impending psychological and supernatural drama. Roderick Usher, the last male heir of the Usher family, is a complex character marked by intense sensitivity and a deep connection to the arts. His artistic pursuits, including music and painting, mirror his introspective nature. However, Roderick is tormented by an acute nervous disorder, heightening the atmospheric tension within the narrative. The narrator is welcomed into the House of Usher, where he encounters Roderick and his ailing sister, Madeline. Madeline is believed to be suffering from catalepsy, a condition characterized by trance-like states and stiffness of the limbs. The atmosphere within the mansion becomes increasingly oppressive, and the reader is drawn into the enigma that surrounds the Usher family. As the narrative unfolds, the supernatural elements of the story become more pronounced. Roderick, consumed by his own forebodings, becomes convinced of Madeline's premature burial. In a disturbing turn of events, he enlists the narrator's help to entomb Madeline in a makeshift grave within the house adding a layer of gothic horror to the tale. The climax of the story occurs during a tempest of extraordinary intensity. The storm, with its thunderous roars and vivid lightning, serves as a dramatic backdrop to the catastrophic events within the House of Usher. Madeline, seemingly risen from the dead, confronts her brother in a nightmarish scene that blurs the boundaries between the living and the dead. The cataclysmic finale sees the collapse of the mansion itself. The Tarn, now a tempestuous force, swallows the House of Usher whole. The symbolic demise of the mansion mirrors the final descent of the Usher family into oblivion. The narrator, barely escaping the destruction, witnesses the obliteration of the once grand edifice, leaving behind only a desolate landscape. Poe's narrative skill in the fall of the House of Usher lies not only in the plots unfolding but also in the intricate layering of themes. The story delves into the psychological terror of Roderick Usher, the spectral presence of Madeline, and the overarching sense of impending doom. The collapse of the mansion becomes a metaphorical purging, representing the ultimate fate of a family mired in decay. The Fall of the House of Usher remains a seminal work in Gothic literature, admired for its atmospheric richness and exploration of the darker realms of the human psyche. Poe's ability to create an immersive experience, where the boundaries between reality and the supernatural blur, cements this tale as a timeless contribution to the genre of psychological horror.